Hello everyone, Sigler here, Fork, Chef, you can all call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm gonna discuss about uh, my favorite profession over the years, which is enchanting. Enchanting has always been one of my favorite. Well, it, it's pretty much like my, the one that I usually have on my main all the time. In Season of Discovery though, I don't have it on my Warlock, because on my Warlock I have tailoring and blacksmithing. Because in Classic I feel it's a pretty nice combo, because tailorers, for example, they need the belt buckle. Uh, no, no, the belt, uh, the iron buckle. And uh, blacksmithers can do that. And yeah, it's just nice to have them, because I'm not planning to level uh, like many other professions past 225, because I don't really have that much time to level all of my alts to level 40 but i will get them to 26 so i can max them to 225 but i haven't done that yet because my warlock is almost level 34 so i'm i'm getting up there i'm gonna grind a bit today while my daughter is asleep but uh we're gonna discuss why enchanting is very good and it's very easy to pick up on if you're uh if you don't haven't if you haven't picked a profession yet uh, the reason why it's so good in Season of Discovery, especially, it's good in Classic also, just because you can make wands. But the reason why you want, uh, want it on uh, Season of Sco Discovery is because the Lesser Magic Wand is part of a Waylight Supply. And we can see here, let's take a look here. So the crafting cost at the moment is... 5 silver 99 it sells for 19 so for some reason it doesn't say the actual like profit but let's pull up a calculator here and let's do 19 point 40 there minus and it's 5.99 so that's a 13 silver profit and I mean it's only five Oh, well, okay, let's round it up. It's six silver to make. That's basically nothing. And if we do it like, and we, uh, <coughs> what's that? Uh, uh, 5.99 divided by 19.40. Yeah, that's a 70% profit. I mean, it, it, do, it does sell. It really does. And, I mean, first of all, people are going to buy it if they're leveling, because they want a wand. If they're playing like a mage, warlock, or priest. And also they need it for the Whale of Supplies. Then you can also make the Greater Magic Wand, which is the level 13. Thir 13. Uh, and then we also have the Minor Wizard Oil. I got a few on the Auction House. Let's see here. Uh, over here I have 17 of them so from level 5 if you want to level pretty quick I mean 8 spell damage is not that that it's not like uh, it's uh, it's more than you think on on a level 8 and with all the runes and stuff I like I can imagine a like a uh, living flame uh, a we mage with uh with this I mean it's not much, but it could be like one or two more damage in the in the number. That could be quite significant in the long run. It's not like game breaking, but it's 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 not that much. So that's another thing that you can craft. It's a pretty nice profit here as well. It's three silver and sixty-six to craft. And yeah, it sells for thirteen. But you want you, you want it. Uh, enchant if you go to 150 because that's where the real money is this is also a part of a way let's apply I'm gonna create more of these but let's pull up the calculator again so this costs nine nine silver and 50 copper so let's take the and it says over here 20 23.9 minus uh, 9.5 so that's 14 silver each and if I would level I, I would say that if you're planning to dungeon level as a healer or a well any caster class really 
unless you have a uh, like a druid in the group that because the wild strike I think removes the oil so keep that in mind I, I might be mistaken here but I think it does but anyway I mean I mean even even with leveling you can pair this up with this sage fish with uh, this one so on level 10 combined with that combined with that one that's three plus what's that four so seven S seven mana every five seconds that's not bad okay from level 20 you can use this one but I mean it, it's still good and it says one charge but to my understanding it's it, it, it's it's five charges on them pretty sure it is so let, let's craft one actually and see I think like one item has five charges let's see yeah it has five charges so technically for let's do like this again so technically for okay let's round it up for 24 silver let's take 24 silver it's it's 24 silver and it's 30 minute 30 minute uh, yeah 30 minutes and it's five so uh, 30 times five divided by six no 30 times five divided by 60 so that's for 24 silver for example you have two and a half hours of a buff that gives mana and the oils persists through death so once you use it you will have it up for 30 minutes it's very good for dungeons if you're a healer or a caster because you can steamroll a bit faster but yeah so i i've sold 48 so far and i haven't made i like i got to max level just a few days ago but let's see how much that is that's eight almost eight gold in sold price so if we say that it's about 70 percent something like that i mean that's still like five gold in profit from basically nothing so yeah that's a that's something that i really recommend because it is a part of a waylaid supply and people are still buying it and i'm also going to show you a little tip that i've done a bit uh, not in Season of Discovery though, but I'm gonna start doing it. And I've done it in Classic a lot. Which is, I made a... Let's do it like this. Slash TSM. Wait. Slash TSM. So I made a, a group with TSM, which calls it's called Enchanting Essence. And here we have all the essences of the Great One and the Lesser Ones. So the great thing with this... So let's start scanning. And this is a way to, like you have to do a bit of a calculation here. Sometimes it's profitable and sometimes it's not. So it, it, it depends on if you wanna do this because it depends on how, well, I'm, I'm sorry people, it depends on how lazy or smart people are on your server. <coughs> and if they care about like minimal differences in in uh, like silvers and stuff but what you can do because the lesser ones you need three lesser ones to make a greater one and you and if you have a greater one you can break it down to three lesser ones so what i tend to do is that i just pull up a calculator here and let's go with the greater ones so let's take this one for example it's a, okay let's use decimal here so 0 0.0341 from the first one divided by three. So that's uh, one silver each of the great of this one. So what does this say? You see? Four. Four silver. So technically right now, I could buy the I'm actually gonna do that just just to, to show you. I can buy a few. I wouldn't I wouldn't like heavy invest in it, but like just small amounts because on my alts I have a flat five gold on everyone and I buy stuff to craft with profit and once I've emptied the mailbox all the profit I'm sending to my main 
So it's like a small mini game, it feels like. So for example, I could do that. Just buy a few more. It, it's not that expensive. So let's buy a few more. So there. So right now we have 22 of them. So technically, uh, that's basically what I do. I just look up the lesser and greater ones and I, I can see that let, let's take uh, the these ones for example like and and you could do the other way around if you find the lesser ones are more ex uh, cheap than the greater ones you might just as well buy the lesser ones and make it into one greater one because whenever people are uh, doing like enchanting and like leveling their professions a lot of times people are just lazy or if they want a, a specific enchant that for an item they look for the ingredient that they need and they straight out buy it because it's not that big of a difference if you if you think about it but if as I say if you want to make gold it's huge so that's just a small tip that i i've done in classic mostly I haven't, I haven't done it in season of discovery but i'm gonna start now a little bit so I, this is not not something that i would buy a lot of because there's a lot of enchanting materials on the auction house all the time and the great thing with the uh, <coughs> sorry the great thing with uh, enchanting mats is because is that all enchanting mats are free to post on the auction house there's no there's no deposit fee on it so you will sell this but keep in mind of your price that you bought it from so you don't buy it and then you repost it a couple of days later and the pray and the price tanked so try to keep a, a like a note or something of the price that you bought it of because it could be like Let's say I, I bought this one out. I did buy the greater one for 346. Uh, and I try to sell it now. And I let's say I sell a few and I have 10 left. And tomorrow I try to sell the lesser ones. But the lesser ones now is down to one silver each. And the greater one is up to five. Then I would rather convert it up to a greater one again to sell it for a profit on that end so just try to keep keep an eye out and like remember what you bought them for so yeah like it it's kind of easy to do it if you keep if you keep an eye, uh, eye out of the price so that's a little trick that i uh, like to do it's uh it, it's a bit hard in the beginning but once you get a hang of it, it's kind of nice. I actually noticed that is that I don't actually have the lesser essence. So let's do like this. Let's add it. No, no not that one. Ah. Slash TSM group essence uh, specific essence. Is it not here? Hmm. Interesting. It's not here. Well, uh, either way, that is something that I like to do. So, like what I said in the video, enchanting is one of my favorite ones. And it's very easy to do. And <clears throat> you can sell, like, the crafts and stuff like that. Like... Try to see what the prices are and try to like... Another thing you, you can also do, by the way, before I leave you, is that try to make a group with all the uh, enchanting materials. Because then you can buy it at a low price. I wouldn't buy the like the low ones, the strange dust, for example. Because that's something too easy to come by. Anyway. But let's say that you have like the bigger ones, the lesser astral essence and stuff like that. Try to, if you're using TSM, try to buy it as a, at a low percentage. <coughs> and like, try to stockpile it a bit and see what kind of enchants are need, like so, uh, well sought after. For example, like the lesser stamina one, I think it's kind of decent. 
Um, there is usually, there's probably a better one uh, above 150, but I'm gonna have to do BFD like two runs on this one just for fun to get it to level 26 so I can get past it. But yeah, that's a little small little tip for you. Uh, if you click on this video over here, I hope to see you there. And uh, until next time, bark bark! <laughs>